Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Gaysford, and in today's video we are going back into Vim. Um, I wanted to go ahead and retouch on visual selection. So I know we went ahead and we talked about that in the last video on how to make selections and do all that sort of cool stuff with the visual selections, um, but I did a huge oversight and I didn't actually really talk about how to utilize visual selections at all. And so that's definitely something I want to do in this video. So if you haven't seen the last video, go ahead and check that one out. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on how to actually do visual selections. So let's roll the intro. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. So this was a video I wasn't even really planning on doing. Um, I received a comment on that last Vim video kind of talking about um, how to move stuff over and to kind of better rearrange stuff inside your Vim editor. Um, and if I can find that comment, I'll go ahead and post it somewhere on the screen, maybe right here. And so let's go ahead and let's jump back over to Vim and go ahead and start kind of like talking about what you can actually do with visual selections because they are such a big and major part of using Vim if you're going to start being proficient with it. We're back in the Vim file that we left off in and you can see stuff really hasn't changed yet. Again, we're going to be working on our V selections or our visual selections. Um, remember, V is just the normal. Shift V does lines, entire lines, and Control V is a block selection. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and address that comment we received talking about shifting things over inside of Vim. So I'm going to go ahead and use that Shift V command, this right here, and make sure we're not in any sort of editing mode down here at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and do a Shift V. And you can see the entire line turns gray. And that's exactly what we're looking for with something like this. Um, and then what we're going to do is if you hold down shift and you hit the little triangle. So this character that I have right here going all the way down this bracket. If you hit that key on your keyboard and you're, we're not trying to hit the period here. So you do need to make sure you hit shift bracket. And oh, I do as in pressing the shift, and so nothing really happened there. Um, but if you do shift bracket, you see everything moves over. Um, all these lines all shifted um, or tabbed over. Um, and since this is just a normal text file, our tabs are pretty big here. And we already had a space in front of all these, so the real tab is right here. This is our tab right there. But um, you can see to move all them over and if we do the shift V once again, we can move it over again. And let's say I shifted those over using that shift V to select my content and then the shift and then the right bracket to move everything over a few times. And then I decide, you know what, I do like them all being next to the edge of the file here. I like them not having these empty tabs. And so I can actually move them back now. So if I do a shift V, select all my lines, and then I can actually press the number two. And you can see I have press two right there. I'm gonna say two, and then I'm gonna press shift, and then I'll the left bracket. Um, and then it's just gonna move everything over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and keep our file up to date here. And so we'll say, maybe in square brackets, we'll say visual. Oh, and it's one of the fun things with them. If you aren't paying attention, you can start messing up your file. So um, what I did there was when I started making a mistake, I escaped and pressed U to undo my changes. And now I'm back to where I was. All right, and so as you can see, we have this line here and I mentioned that we could also go to the left. So we're gonna use some of those other Vim commands that we had talked about in the past. Um, so we're gonna just do the double Y. So we're gonna yank this line. We're gonna go ahead and paste it below. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just modify. So we're gonna go into our insert mode and we're gonna take out that bracket. And we're gonna go ahead and put our left bracket here. And then we're gonna go over here and let's talk about another just quick command. So I'm just, I want to delete this one word. And we talked about how X will cut um, a single character, the one that you currently have highlighted 
and it'll just remove it. Um, but using our delete, um, I don't see it here, right here in the file anyways, but we, we know if we press the D, we go into delete mode and we could delete up, we could delete down, or we could do a DD and delete the entire line. But if we just do a DW, it's gonna delete that word. And we'll go ahead and say left here. Oh man, if I could type. All right, and we'll go ahead and go into our deleting lines here. Delete the word that you are on. Okay, um, and so I need to put an asterisk on this one. And that's because, let's say we had a word, um, let's say polar bears, okay? And if you see here, if we go to the very beginning of the word, we press that DW, it deletes the word. And we'll press undo, or the U command. Um, let's see, I don't know if I have U on here, but we'll go ahead and just throw it up here for now. Okay. And so, we have polar bears, and when we press DW at the beginning of the word, it got rid of the entire word. Um, but notice if we move our cursor over to just bears, and now we do the DW, it deletes just the word bears and not the entire word. Um, and so let's go ahead and modify delete the word that you are on. And okay, so now we've updated our definition here to DW, delete the word from the right of the cursor position. Um, and I think that is a good way of just putting it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and space these out better. Um, uh, maybe we'll just put this in general. All right, and I'm starting to get sidetracked here, um, but uh, that's that's two new tricks. So we have the visual selection, um, the left right tab, and then we also have those delete and undo commands. Um, but let's go ahead and get back to looking at visual selections, um, and so. I didn't mention, um, and I kind of did in just like a quick pop-up on the last video, uh, but I wasn't really happy about that. Um, so if we do a our quick visual line selection here, which is my favorite visual selection, and we press Y, um, we could see six lines were yanked. Um, and so in the past, we talked about how you could count the number of lines you had here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then we could do, a, let's say five yank, down and do see we still got the six lines yanked but that wasn't nearly as quick or convenient as quickly just doing a visual selection um, and just seeing what we're going to select and pressing Y or yank to go ahead and copy that and now we could just go to where we want it let's say we're just beneath where we currently are we'll press P to paste and we talked about that in our first Vim video, and you can see now we know exactly what we're going to paste. Um, let's go ahead and press U to undo that, because I don't actually need it here. So using visual selections to yank certain sections or um, just get really granular with how you're starting to use these other shortcuts, it's going to help you out a lot. And so if we just go into V, standard visual mode, we could come over here, select this, and yank it. And now when we go to our new line, we can go paste it here. And then we could just put a new something something here. And, you know, I don't expect you guys to be able to hop into BIM right now and be able to do all of that with what I've shown you thus far. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you kind of need to start taking the past videos and any of these future videos and you need to start stacking them together. Um, it's not a A only does A things. It's a you can use a, B, C together and start doing some more things. So I do think the next video for Vim video specifically will be about searching um, and about search and replace and stuff like that. So if that's something you're definitely gonna be interested in seeing, either stick around if you're in the playlist for Vim or go ahead and subscribe to the channel if the video is not out yet so you're notified when that video does come out.
But that's where I'm going to go ahead and end today's video with Vim. Um, it doesn't really add a whole lot to our Vim knowledge or arsenal overall like um, some of these other topics or videos for Vim will do, but um, I did feel like I didn't really stress how fantastic visual selections were and the usefulness of them in the last video. So I did want to take some time and kind of stress how cool they are and how much you can actually use them and kind of like the importance of them. Um, if you like this video, I would really appreciate you guys to hit the like button. Um, I really do appreciate it. If you like what I'm trying to do here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I typically do home automation Linux type videos, so definitely stick around. And I'm definitely trying to think of some new topics to film on. I have a lot of ideas. I'm just not quite sure if I'm quite confident enough to do them yet. Um, but 3D printing and some film and video stuff is definitely something down the road that I'm going to try to integrate into this channel somewhere. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys giving me your time and I will see you in the next video.